During the just ended government shutdown, the health care program, so fiercely opposed by congressional Republicans, got up and running. Sort of. There are still some serious problems with the system, and now we are learning why. Jeff Begays is in our Washington bureau with the latest on that. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Vanita. There will be routine maintenance of the web website this weekend. The Department of Health and Human Services denies that it's anything more than that. But just when it looks like something's been fixed, another issue with healthcare.gov pops up. Incredibly frustrating. Over the last 18 days, John Tankersley of Indianapolis says he has devoted 25 to 30 hours of his time trying to enroll in the online insurance exchanges. He's still trying. It's inexcusable that the, there are so many design flaws in the, in the web application. Sources tell CBS News the problems may have started late last month when the administration made the crucial decision of asking for changes to the website that would make applicants first open an account and prove their identity before shopping for insurance. But the technical problems go beyond what impacts customers. Insurers are now reporting the design flaws in the website are affecting them. Analysts say some insurance companies are getting duplicate sign-up forms from the government and records of people enrolling, unenrolling, and then re-enrolling. Those forms contain personal information like social security numbers and health history. The website's flaws will be the subject of a House committee hearing next Thursday. Republican Congressman Fred Upton is the committee's chairman. We want to find out some answers. Uh, you know, all along when they, the, uh, the administration was trying to roll out this program, they told us over and over again that they were going to be ready. Among the questions members of Congress want answered, what went wrong? How was hundreds of millions of dollars for the website spent? And is the personal information on the website secure from hackers? The administration says work is being done around the clock to fix the website. As for that committee hearing on Thursday, it looks like it will be missing one key voice. A lot of the criticism thus far has been aimed at the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Kathleen Sebelius has been called to testify, but she says she's not available. Anthony, Vanita. Jeff Begay in Washington. Thank you.